Jody's parents have had to move into my sister-in-law Sherry's house and have taken over her home office. So she wants to build a new office space in the tandem section of her garage. So my brother-in-law Scott and I got together to figure out what we can do. They have already figured out where they want to build the room in the dimensions they want. So Scott and I did some measurements, talked about how we would go about building the room. Then I drew up a plan. The first weekend available, we got the lumber required for framing the room and got to work. The first thing to do is put up the top plate, but we discovered that the screws we got were too short to reach the trusses in the ceiling. So Scott headed to the hardware store to get longer screws. In the meantime, the kids and I started doing some measurements for the first few pieces we would have to cut, and we moved all the lumber out to the work area. When Scott returned with the screws, we put up the 12 foot 2x4 for the first top plate. My nephew Aaron then cut the 10 foot 2x4 top plate down to size to fit the other wall and we screwed that one to the ceiling too. Next up, we cut and mounted the two side studs that mounted to the existing walls. We then mounted two pressure treated 2x4s to the floor of the garage using a hammer drill with a masonry bit and concrete anchors to be the bottom plates. Jackson even took a turn with the hammer drill. After we had mounted the bottom plate, we started on the studs. We started with the first stud on the long wall that would be the door frame. Because the floor and ceiling of the garage are not exactly evenly spaced apart, we had to measure and cut each stud for where it was going to mount. We measured and cut each stud, wedged them into place, and then I towed them into the top and bottom plates with three inch construction screws.
Scott and I then put the pre-hung door in place so we could mount a small section of bottom plate that would be on the other side of the door and make up the corner of the room. We then measured and cut the stud that would be on the other side of the door. We then mounted the door into place using shims to make sure it was plumb and level. And then we finished off the studs making up the corner. After cutting and mounting a top plate over the door, the framing was all done and the room had an actual footprint. All in all, the framing and door cost under $400 and went together pretty quickly with all of us working on it. I'll have a total breakdown of the cost at the end of the video. Day two was for putting up the drywall. So I borrowed our friend Lisa's pickup truck and Scott and I got 12 sheets of drywall from the hardware store. I had intentionally designed the long wall so that an 8-foot sheet of drywall would span from the existing garage wall to the door frame without the need for much cutting at all, so it was pretty easy to mount the four sheets outside and inside of that wall. We used 1.5 inch drywall screws to mount the sheets with 5 screws in each stud. Two sheets also covered a large portion of the other wall inside and out without needing any cuts at all. Around the door we simply cut out the area of the door frame from a single sheet 
and then mounted those around the door frame. The remaining pieces of drywall from those sheets was able to be cut to fill in the extra foot or so above the drywall on the 12 foot wall. When we had to cut several long pieces from a single sheet to fill in the leftover space, we switched to using a saw to cut the drywall, which was way faster. We should have done that from the beginning. We cut and mounted the last few pieces of drywall and the room was, well, really looking like a room. A couple days later, Sherry and her dad started pre-filling the gaps in the drywall and the screw holes with mud. They then taped all the gaps and mudded them and then sanded it to get ready for paint. Jerry and Scott finished up by having electrical run to move the garage fridge. And then they painted and decorated the room as well as put in flooring. and then it was all done. All complete a new workspace for Sherry for under $2,000. Thanks for watching this video. Please give us a like and a comment to help the channel out. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to help us get to a thousand.